This is Libertarian Viewpoint, and I'm your host, Sue Jeffers. Libertarianism is all about liberty. Liberty is the exercise of freedom that doesn't impinge on the rights of others. We have all heard the constant drum roll of government solutions. The purpose of this show is to allow you to see for yourself why non-government solutions are a better alternative. Today's guest is Cindy Pugh. Thanks for being on the show. What got you involved in advocating non-government solutions to problems, Cindy? Well, thanks for having me, Sue. Um, well, I just decided that um, to take responsibility, personal responsibility. It's one of the principles of the of the Tea Party movement, and um, and you did more than just take a little personal responsibility. You started your own Tea Party group. You and your yeah. friend. What happened? You started talking one day and said, hey, we got to change the world? Well, you know, one thing led to the next. Actually, um, I got involved with the Tea Party movement. It really, it really wasn't even involved with the Tea Party movement at this point, but um, I responded to Michelle Bachman's, uh, Congresswoman Michelle Bachman's emergency house call on Congress in November. That was November 2009. Seems so long ago now. And she was calling upon all Americans to be in Washington, D.C. for a rally that she was going to be hosting on the West Lawn Thursday at noon. And I had never been to D.C. before, um, and I decided that I just really had to be there. It was going to be before the first vote on Obamacare. And um, so, yes, I responded, and there I was um, on that bus. And um, we took from a, Minnesota yes. to Washington D.C. on a bus. Yes, we took a 24-hour bus ride. There were three buses that left the Twin Cities that day, and most of us came by ourselves. Most of us, um, there were some families that came, some husbands and wives, but for the most part, it was just individuals that felt compelled to weigh in to really be be there. And so, yes, we, we got there, and I happened to sit next to a woman um, on the bus. Um, she happened to be from Chanhassen as well. And uh, that is how we met and come to find out that, well, actually what happened was we ended up starting a tea party, but it wasn't until the following June. So, yes, we went out to Washington, D.C., and there were about 40,000 people there, 40,000 patriots. Several of the people that I met on that bus became founding members of our Tea Party. We met on that bus, um, all of those like-minded people who were so concerned about the overreach of the federal government into our lives and the, the thought of socialized medicine. So that is really what and happened. And now you have expanded so much. You meet every single Monday night in yes. Chanhassen. Mm -hmm. People come from a hundred miles away to go to. Your, when I was out they to do. visit your uh, Monday night tea party meeting, there was mm -hmm. a guy who had driven from Forest Lake yes. to Chanhassen <laughs> yes. just to hear mm -hmm. what's going on. You do everything yeah. from movie night to issues to we tell do. us a little bit about some of the some of the things your group well, does. Well, I'll start with how we launched our tea party. Um, we started our tea party almost uh, well over a year ago now in June. And we launched it two weeks before the Independence Day Parade in Chanhassen. And one of our founding members um, purchased 1,500 pocket constitutions for us. And we had several vehicles with World War II veterans in because, Sue, so it's, it's our, our veterans who know more so than any of us that freedom isn't free. And uh, we are so grateful to have support from so many of our veterans. It's why we can meet like we do as a Tea Party, that we have the freedom that we do to speak up um, about our values. So we launched in the uh, Chanhassen uh, Fourth of July Parade, 
and we gave out all of our pocket constitutions halfway through the parade. 1,500. 1,500 pocket constitutions, and uh, we showed a movie. We also had a handout that we gave to as many people as we could, and we um, showed the Tea Party movie two weeks later at the Chanhassen Library, which is where we started meeting, and we've been meeting every week ever, ever since. Um, we have a guest speaker, at least one guest speaker every week, and it's just been, it's been so inspiring to see how many, how many people are jumping off the sidelines. And, you know, and not only just jumping off the sidelines, but yeah. educating themselves about so many different issues, whether mm -hmm. it's to see a movie about the education unions or mm -hmm. to talk to Twyla Brays on health care or yes. Karen Ephraim on education. You, you cover the board on the issues that you talk about. W yes, we do. Um, in fact, before the election, what we did was we focused um, our efforts on educating um, our group about about what the issues were, and we we looked to we looked for constitutional conservatives. You know, one of the principles of the Tea Party is constitutionally limited government, and you know, fiscal responsibility, and not to mention free markets. Those are the three core principles. And we gave every um, every candidate who wanted to come and speak to us an opportunity to do so and then field questions from our group. So we were really becoming educated um, as a group and we've continued to do that. But after the election, we shifted gears into watchdog mode. We are now really paying attention. Our antennas are up on uh, what the what our legislators are doing. We have become activists in, in a really big way. Um, we have so some of the issues yes. over at mm -hmm. the legislature this yes. year that you guys were phenomenal watchdogs. Yes, yes. Photo yes, ID thank was you. one yes. of the issues that you became involved in over there. Yes, for the first time ever, um, a number of us not only attended hearings. I'd never attended a hearing before. Not many people have. I, I never had, and very what an experience yeah, it was. It was fantastic, and very few of our members, if you will, um, had ever attended a hearing. Um, yes, we, we did participate in a big way. Um, the number of the legislators came to know us. Um, they knew it was very clear um, that the Southwest Metro Tea Party was present. In fact, I heard from one legislator, we were all wearing buttons um, at one of the hearings, wondering um, if the, all of the, those were people from the Southwest Metro Tea Party, and in fact they were. A number of us have testified for the first time at hearings, whether it was the 21st Century Voter ID Bill. A number of us have been tremendous supporters of the, the threat that Goodhue, the residents of Goodhue are facing with regard to the, the threat of big wind and um, the, 